What's going on guys, welcome back to Nolan TCG, and we're here today to start off a new series. So I've gotten a little bit tired of sealed only, we're going to be putting that on hiatus for a little bit, I'm just like really not enjoying it, so we've decided to start up something different, and then it's going to be like X money versus the format. So starting us off, we're going to do $100, we're going to go to TCG player and try and build a deck that's probably most optimal, and overall just kind of good for the current format, and every month we're going to do something different. So we're going to start off with 100 then we'll probably bring it down to 50 and really try and push that like budget kind of deck and the concept of kind of what it can be once the format's kind of defined. And then after that, we're going to go to like 200 at the third month of the format and then really kind of blow it out a little bit and see just what you can kind of do with that budget. Uh, this isn't going to replace any of our like regular content. It's just going to go into a part of our Sunday schedule. If we do ever have any issues with like locals footage and stuff like that, then we're going to go into this deck versus some format stuff and really try and explore that a little bit. Overall though, we're just going to try and enjoy it, uh, do a bit of like a deck challenge versus the format and see how things can go. I'm going to start it off with that $100. Before we do get started though, please remember to drop down below and hit that subscribe button if you are new here because we're always happy to have new people to the channel. And let's get on into this challenge. Okay, so starting us off, uh, we've brought up a little calculator here. So we're going to keep track of how much we're going to spend on TCG player. It's all going to be based on TCG player market price, uh, not current lowest because market price is kind of what it's selling at at the moment. So that's what we're going to go with. Uh, we'll keep a track of it, we'll build the deck, uh, and yeah, let's get going. I do have a bit of an idea what we're going to be starting this off with. Um, it's a popular one here on the channel. Josh plays it a lot. It's of course going to be Salamangre Great. I think it's probably going to be the best kind of budget deck in the next format. I've definitely just spelled Salamangre Great wrong as well. Um, yeah, overall, this is probably going to be the cheapest thing in this current format that's going to be good. You don't need access code talker with Mirage Stalio because Stalio conflicts. Like, you can't use the access code if you use the Stalio. So a Stalio build will probably be the cheapest. Um, we're also probably going to need to bring up Dueling Book. Okay, after some technical difficulties there and definitely loading up Dueling Book into the wrong screen uh, and then completely crashing everything, I've got everything back. Uh, so I've got Dueling Book over on one screen and then I've got TCG Player open on the other. We're going to go through TCG Player and break down what we're going to need. So starting us off, uh, I think Bailinx only has the one printing, so we are going to have to go with the $5 Bailinx. So that's going to take us... Uh, what's that? Uh, that's going to be three times that, so 15, uh, 14.97, so 14.97. Uh, then we're going to add in that into our deck over here, so we'll go Bay Links. I'm hitting the wrong buttons left, right, and center here. Uh, there we go. I uh, will start, we'll go We'll go three Bay Links for now, we can always change this later. Uh, then after that, we will need the Mirage Stalio. We're only going to be allowed, be allowed one of it, so that's going to be another 89 cents to the deck. So we're going to go plus 0.89. Uh, that'll be that. Let's go for a Stalio. It's at one dueling book. Let me put it in there, please. Okay, uh, so this is sorted by most relevant. Um, I don't know why Transcendence is here. Let's go for market high to low. Odds on, because that'll probably put the meta stuff onto the page. Uh, we don't need Al Mirage. We don't need Pyro. We might put Pyro Phoenix in as we go along. Uh, we're definitely going to need Spinny. This is Spinny's only print, so we're not going to have a choice there. Um, we'll start with two Spinny for now. So we'll go... Uh, what's that? Plus... I'm going to have to do this twice because math is not amazing for me. So plus 0.68 equals plus 4.68 equals... So we're at 25 bucks already. So that's with our two Spinny... Uh, Gazelle has a few printings, so that one of should be pretty cheap. So I'll pop two spinny into the main deck. Um, after that, we're going to look at raw. So we'll probably go... That's a common... I swear there was a... Was there not one more print of Rage? Or is Rage a three a $4 common? Because that's going to suck. Um, I'm almost certain there's only one print, because that was a structured at common back on that page. Uh, we're going to need some stuff from these later pages anyway, so let's go through. Um, we're going to need... Probably one Falco at 14 cents, so we'll go plus 0.14 equals that. So we'll get a... I'm just going to bring up all of Salamangrate to the other screen. So we'll go Salamangrate. Because that's odds on what we're going to need to do. So we'll go for one Falco. Uh, what else have we got here on these these lowly old pages? Uh, we've got the Sanctuary, so we'll need one Sanctuary. So that's another 12 cents. So we'll go uh, plus 0.12. Done. Uh, we'll get our Falco. Oh, we already got our Falco. Sorry, we need our one Sanctuary. Where are you? Load. Click that. What else have we got here? So we've got a few 
Falco. We need those wills back on that page. We'll see what's on this last page. This is all garbage. We don't play any Foxer anymore. Although this is a budget build, so we might need to play the Foxer as we go along. Um, so now we've got... So we've got our one Sanctuary. We've got the one Falco. Uh, next off on this page, we're going to need to go for Will. We're going to play three Will at 15 cents each. So we'll go uh, plus 0.45. We're still coming in pretty cheap here. So we've got three copies of Will in this main deck. Okay, anything else on this lowly old page here? Do we go for the short print Falco for two cents more? We could have, but we're not going to do that. Uh, after that, we'll move over to page two. Okay, so we've got so far no Foxy. Should we play three Foxy? I think probably we might play two Jack Jaguar. So that's another 38 cents. So let's go for plus 0.38. Done. I've just realized that every time I do this, it comes up at the bottom of the screen, the little thing. Oh, we've clicked Claw. It wants us to have Claw in the deck. No. Sell a main great. I have to type the whole thing. Damn. Okay, while that loads, we've got that. So we've put in now two copies of Jack Jaguar. I don't know why I just deleted all of Salamine Great, but let's go with that. We've got two copies of Jack Jaguar in our main deck. Okay, what is next? Uh, we're going to need Heat Leos. Two Heat Leos will be necessary. So that's another 40 cents. So plus 0.40. We've got two of those, and we'll probably skip ahead now, and we'll get the Salamine Great Core into the deck, and we won't waste any more time doing this, so. Okay, so we've finished up with our, adding our Salamine Great Engine in, so so far we've spent 43.61, uh, this is what we've put in for our whole kind of package at the moment, we have gone with the uh, Pyro Phoenix as kind of our OTK engine, we will odds on get a Tobologic Zeroboros after we look at some Pot of Desires, so let's go over here and check out Pot of Desires. Uh, we're probably going to need three Desires in here. Um, that's... Okay. That's all 34. That's what? Uh, $3.94.02. So we'll go plus 4.02. Adding our triple copies of Pot of Desires. We're triple copies of pot of desires we are going to need a lot of hand traps and probably trap cards as well for this. So maybe some Solid Strikes next. Uh, pot of Desires gets added into the deck. Uh, then after this... We'll look at some Solemn Strikes. We can either play this like Super Stunny, or we can play this as like a kind of a hand traps deck. We'll play kind of both. We might look at Ash Blossom. It's probably going to be like $20 a copy, and that will like completely blow our budget. So odds on we'll look at that, but not look at it too hard. Uh, we're going to get three copies of Solemn Strike, or do we, at $5.28? Or well, we might have to come back to this one. Um... Yeah, we're definitely going to have to come back to this one. We're going to need to fill a side deck, though, so we'll need some copies of Lancia. Uh, so we've got Lancia here at $1.26. So what's that? $3.78. Uh, $3 so we'll go plus 3.78. Add that in there. Uh, we'll get our three copies of Lancia. Whether or not this is in the side or the main will be the question. Uh, so we've got three of that. We'll pop it in the side deck for now. Uh, and then we're going to come up here. I wonder if we can, uh, if we put this over here, whether or not it takes up too much space. Just so everyone can see what's going on, I guess. Um, so we've got that. Okay. Is that enough? That that should be enough space. Um, it's going to be a bit difficult to type and see, but we'll see how it goes out. Uh, actually, nah. We're going to cut that part. We're going to we're gonna definitely not do that. Uh, we're not going to do that. If I, if I had an edit there, I had an edit there. If I didn't, I didn't put an edit there. Uh, but we're going to go next off. Let's have a look at Ash Blossom. So this is probably going to be expensive. This is probably going to be very expensive. Uh, what are we looking at? We can play Field Centers. That's an option. Or $18. That's that's too much. That's far too much. Um, while it would be a good fire to be able to like loot back and stuff, it's just too much money. Um, let's go and look at... Let's look at Droll. How bad's Droll at the moment? Um, the alternate art or the regular art? What would be cheaper? Hopefully it just shows both on this screen. It does. Cool. Awesome. Eight dollars. Droll is expensive. Jesus me. Um, that's that's more than I was willing to spend on this. Uh, let's go. We're going to need a Zeroboros though. 
Zeroboros, Topologic. Ah, uh, so that's 39 cents. We'll take that. So we'll go plus 0.39. We need a Zeroboros for the deck. Zeroboros. In you go. That is like our finisher. Big attack power. We do a lot of the banish. Um, I wonder how much Cosmics are. We might need some Cosmics. This cheap back row removal. Uh, Cosmic Cyclone. There we are. What are you? You're two dollars. Oh. Well, we could go budget and just play some MSTs. Uh, Mystical Space Typhoon. Or would Twin Twisters be cheaper? Because we can profit off the discard from the Twin Twisters. Like, MST is going to be cheap every day of the week, but what will Twin Twisters be? Okay, Twin... Uh, 70 cents. We're going to play some Twin Twisters. So we'll get a play set of that for $2.10. So we'll go plus 2.10. Add those in. Take our play set of Twin Twisters. One, two, three. Uh, we'll move into the sideboard for now. We've still got a bit of money here. Let's go and have a look at Solemn Judgment. Because we could OTK with this deck. So we're not super stressed out about halving our life points. At $3.10 though. That's a lot for a battle pack. Um, hmm. Big think here. We need cards to fill out the main deck. But are we missing anything important that needs to be in the build? It's probably Lady Debug. That would be important. Lady Debug would be necessary indeed. Do we play Debug and the other dude? A flame buffalo. We're gonna have. We're gonna play three lady debug. We need that. So four dollars fifty, uh, plus that is oh, four dollars sixty four, four dollars seventy one. So plus that for four dollars and seventy one cents. Perfect. Get in our lady debugs. In we go. Three of you. You haven't loaded yet, but that doesn't matter because that's not on screen. Let's check out flame buffalo. Oh, that's a Buffalo. There we go. It's just Flame Buffalo, but we're going to say it funny just to mess with some people. Uh, it's only 99, uh, 33 cents. That'd be 66 if we go with two of them. We'll play two Flame Buffalo. So we'll go for plus 0.66. In you go for Flame Buffalo. Flame Buffalo. Two of you. Perfect. What else are we going to chuck in here? Some Effect Veiler? We need some generic hand traps that are cheap. Ugh, I can't spell. Clearly. Cannot spell at all. I don't know how to spell Drytron even though I'm looking at it half the time. Ah, uh, it's... $1.20? Oh, that's... What? $1.32, sorry. That's $3.96. I guess in you go. So we'll go... A plus 3.96. Get our play set of Effect Veiler. I spelt it wrong again on the other side. Uh, play set of that. Move those into the sideboard for now because they are more generic. I guess at this point, we still got a bit of money. How much was the Solemn Strike again? Strike. We could go full stun in the main deck and just try and be like a go first build. And then we can play a bunch of like hand traps. We might put like a couple of hand traps into the main to like help out. But at $5, oh, that's $15 of our budget gone. That'd put us to like 78 bucks. That'd give us 22 to finish the deck. Yeah, we'll go for it for now. Let's go Solemn Strike. Pop you in at three copies. That'll be uh, 15, 20, 60. Then eight should be 16, 24, 15, 84. So let's go plus 15.84. 79 of seven. That's a lot more than I wanted that to get to. Uh, we need some budget hand traps. We need something on the budget here. Um, anything fire based? Let's actually go... If we go to the most popular Yu-Gi-Oh cards at the moment. We don't want market price high. We want best selling. Uh, Diviner of the Heralds is on here. We could go with that big Dragoon. Normally there's a lot of cheap cards in here, but this just seems like a lot of ban list buyout stuff. Uh, even though you could refine this by... Can you refine this by price? Uh, we also have ships to Australia turned on. That's probably bad. 
We don't want that. So, like, all of these as lows are all showing shipped to Australia, showing just how much of a markup you get. Because you'll click on half of these and the postage will be massive. Uh, place at a dark ruler. We probably don't have the budget for a place at a dark ruler. Why is that $6 out of the structure deck? That sucks. Um, there's an Ash Blossom over there for 18 Blow our entire budget. Okay, so we've got that. The Drolls. Book of Moon could be something we could consider. Uh, could be used as like just something to force hand traps. Like we could look at the gamma package as well. Let's go for Psy frame. Oh, I missed that little space there. Get rid of that. Okay, so on here, let's sort back to highest to lowest. I should probably be sorting low to high. Um, but we've got gamma, gamma, gamma at four dollars. That'd blow a lot more of our budget than we're willing to blow for the rest of this. Ugh. We'll be back after I have some I have some uh, thoughts intelligent in head. Okay, so I'm back and I've had some thoughts. We're going to go with super heavy stun. So we're going to go for some goes and matches. Uh, that's going to be... Oh, I should have done the maths on this before we came back. So that's uh, 210 plus 27. So that'll be uh, 237. So we go plus 0.237. Add in our goes and... So we've got one goes and match... Three of you, please. Uh, then we're going to go for some more stuns. We're going to drop in an Imperial Order into this deck. Order. Perfecto. Uh, so we've got... I still had sorted by best selling. I should have, again, sorted it by that. So $1.61. So we've got plus 1.61 on the Imperial Order. Okay. So that's Imperial Order. Okay, if we go for the Judgment, that's going to blow another $10 of our budget. Um, solemn Judgment. Oop. Why don't I just, I'll just go Solemn. Sure. Uh, we can probably look at Warnings as well after this. Um, because Warnings are probably going to be very cheap. And it would fill out the rest of this main deck. Uh, let's go for Solemn Judgment. 319, 318. We're splitting hairs here. So 318, that'd be nine dollars. Uh nine dollars fifty nine dollars fifty-four. So let's go plus nine point point five four. Add some judgments into here. Three judgments. Um that is that we've got back row removal. Do we go for another power one of or we could look at a flame buffalo? Um, looking at the list, it's not too bad. We do still have some extra deck stuff to fill out, though. I think probably an Abyss Dweller could come in. On the current format. Maybe even a Tornado Dragon at $1.33. So let's go plus 1.33 on the Dweller. One Abyss Dweller, please. I think we may... Given how pure we've got this list, we've got the, I suppose we've got the Falco. Is it worth playing a foul? Let's go Salamine Great Foul. It wasn't too expensive. It's 38 cents. I, I believe it's just a free special summon. I haven't played foul in a long time, so... Uh, is normal special summon. You can special summon this card from your hand. I think we play foul as an extender. It's a budget build. It's 38 cents by the looks of it, even though the most recent selling ones are like 25 cents. Our market price said 38 cents, so we're going to go for that. So, uh, plus 0.38. We're getting into the business end here. The deck's almost done. So, we've got one Salamine Great Fail. In you go. So, three cards remain in the main deck. Uh, two in extra. Are we missing anything here? Um, a Splash Mage, maybe. Splash Mage. And a Transcode. Uh, so, we go plus... 0.66 point uh point two six sorry for a splash mage so we wouldn't be able to do this on the turn that we stallio but stallio at least is like we can use the stallion on the first turn we oh, I suppose we put it back this gives us options to get into a Zeroboros play so we'll go stallio and because it's Zeroboros Cybos yes of course it is that's why you play it in the deck and then we've got a transcode talker I believe will come next so Transcode Talker. We don't want Dragon Ball cards. So 48 cents. So we go plus 0.48. 
So we're at $95 so far. Transcode Talker. Okay, so the side of the extra is finished on that. So we need nine cards left and we have $5 to spend. We're going to have to go super budget here. Uh, so what's a couple of stun cards that are going to be very good for our matchup? We can probably play Rivalry and Gozen, to be honest. Lock to Fire. That it only stop like, so the Gozen stops our Lady Debug play. But we can still play everything else. Uh, we can get through, like, a hell of a lot. But then as we look towards Rivalry, we're all Cybers. So that is an option. Um, maybe we side Rivalry. Rivalry of Warlords, even though this card is going to be very cheap because it's in the next set. Um, this is not cheap at the moment, though, so we can't afford a Rivalry in our deck. Uh, that's not a possibility. What's Anti-Spell looking like? We've got Sky Striker running around the format. Anti-Spell could be worth it. Uh, it's going to slow him down a little bit, but at 84 cents, is it worth it? Uh, we can come back to that. We've got nine cards. What could these nine cards be? A good blind second card. Um, so we've got the Veilers, we've got the Lanciers. Nibiru's are way out of our price range. Stuff like Dark Ruler's way out of our price range. Those would all be good cards to have right now. Um, I'll have another think, and we'll be back with the finalized deck. Okay, so here we are. This is the final deck list. Um, we have a little bit of a budget card right here at the end. It's our Cyburst Beacon, because Cyburst Beacon costs exactly... Uh, 13 cents, which will put us to exactly $100. So that's how much this got deck costs, uh, market price, a TCG player in US. Uh, there was some things, like, clearly that were available for under market price, so odds on this will probably come in under 100 bucks if you're trying to build it, at which point you just switch out the Cyburst Beacon for something better. It's simply just, like, the 40th card. Um, I'm going to send this to Josh, and we'll see if he approves it, and we'll get to that after the deck profile. Actually, no, we'll send him, we'll send him to him now, and then we'll see if he's responded after the deck profile. Okay, so we've sent the message to Josh, we'll see if he responds, but we're going to go through this list now. So starting us off, we of course have two copies of Flame Buffalo, three Lady Debug, so we've got like five kind of one card starters, I guess. Uh, one and a half card starter. Uh, then we've got the one Falco, one Fail, uh, three Foxy, one Gazelle, we ended up bumping it up to three Jack Jaguar just to give us like as much consistency in the engine as possible. They're also like super cheap cards, so like no, no money out of our pocket when we're building them. Uh, we've got two copies of Spinny. I would have liked a third, but it was just probably one of the more expensive main deck cards. Hopefully, though, they don't get banished off Desires. Because we do have the Pot of Desires in here, along with our one Circle, one Sanctuary, three Will, and a Called By. That was another card we snuck in at the end here. Uh, the one Sanctuary, um, for some reason, Josh never ever banishes it. So we're going to work with that theory, and we're going to play one Sanctuary. Uh, for our traps, we've got, of course, three Gozen Match, uh, one Imperial Order with Striker and everything running around the format. Our spells aren't super important, so one Order. Uh, two Rage, two Raw are going to be our ratios on those guys. Followed up with three Judgment, three Strike, and the one Cyburst Beacon rounding out the main deck. This can probably come into the side deck for like any of these cards if you were like just going to switch it. Uh, for our extra, we've got one Abyss Dweller, uh, one Stalio, three Baylinks, two Heat Leo, two Pyro Phoenix, and three Wolf. This is kind of like a whole Salaman Great line. Uh, we can cheese OTK with some Pyro Phoenixes. Uh, Stalio gets us through everything else. Uh, then we have our OTK package with the Zeroboros. So we've got the one Zeroboros, the one Splash Mage, the Transcode. Uh, just be aware that you can't Stalio and do this in the same turn. Um, then for our side, we've got the three Lancia. Uh, this is mainly in here to like slow down Tri Brigade and give us like hopefully another turn to kill them. Uh, then we've got one effect, uh, three Effect Veiler to just kind of slow down combo, I guess. Uh, then we've got the three Twin Twisters for back row decks. Uh, Book of Moon because it can force a negate in some of those like big Builder Ward decks. Uh, one red reboot for stun, because we can, like, red reboot them and then maybe trigger off a Zeroboros and just banish their whole board. Uh, and then we've got two different dimension ground, which picture isn't loading, but it's over here. Uh, yeah, two, Bobby, two copies, different dimension ground, rounding out the side deck. Um, a lot of decks will struggle at the moment if stuff gets banished, so the two different dimension ground, uh, they'll come into the main deck depending on, like, formats, and, uh, depending on matchups and stuff that we have as the format progresses. But that is it for the first episode of our, like, X dollars versus the format kind of video. Uh, the next one is going to be $50 versus the format. We're going to have that going up at the end of next month. We're going to do this as like a monthly thing as the format goes on. And then whether or not it's popular or not, we might go back to sealed only next format. But at the moment, no sealed only for the time being. It's going to be this. Thank you for tuning in though. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, uh, hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. Leave a comment if you like think of some things we can change. I think we maybe spend a bit too much time on like the deck building side of things. So I'm sorry if that drags out a little bit. But as always, I've been Ben from Nolan TCG. 
and have a good afternoon, everybody.